What does maize do better than spinach? Maize grows fast. How does it do that? It does it because it has a biochemical trick called C4 photosynthesis. It's explained in earlier videos, in one video, why do plants need water? They have this problem. When you take carbon dioxide up into a leaf, this occurs through little pores called stomata, and water is lost. The second problem they have is that the enzyme, the protein that uses carbon dioxide, the first reaction with carbon dioxide, this enzyme has a low affinity for carbon dioxide on a competing reaction with oxygen. So this rubisco needs a lot of carbon dioxide, whereas the entry of carbon dioxide into the leaf will be better if the carbon dioxide is low. Low here, high here. Hmm. But let's just draw what we would like. We would like low carbon dioxide just inside the leaf, and we would like a lot of carbon dioxide around Rubisco. Problem solved. How could that happen? What we need is a pump for carbon dioxide. Problem solved. Only one problem, a little problem. Have you ever seen a pump in a leaf? We call that sometimes beautiful theory, it's ugly facts. But maize has done exactly this. It has used a combination of very clever biochemistry and very clever anatomy to produce a pump. And this is how it does it. I'll first explain the biochemistry and then the anatomy. What maize does is it has a reaction where it takes a compound with three carbons which reacts with carbon dioxide to make a compound with four carbons. This is why it's called C4 photosynthesis, four carbon. This compound with four carbons then is in a second reaction which releases carbon dioxide and recycles the three carbon compound. So this goes in a circle and the result is that it moves carbon dioxide from one place to another place and concentrates it. Now the anatomy. Most plants carry out photosynthesis in one cell type. Maize does it by a combination of two cell types. In one cell type, which I'm just gonna draw now, this cell type is called the mesophyll. The carbon dioxide is incorporated into the four carbon compound. The other cell type, which I'm drawing here, this cell type is in the middle of the leaf. It's around the veins. It's called the bundle sheath cells. In this cell type, the carbon dioxide is released out of the four carbon compound. So we have high carbon dioxide. And this is where Rubisco and almost all of the photosynthesis takes place. So in this way, we pull the carbon dioxide down close to the stomata, and we have high carbon dioxide around Rubisco. Now this sounds complicated, but it really works. Plants which carry out C4 photosynthesis are very important, especially in the tropics and subtropics. For example, all of the large grasslands, the savanna, these big grasses, fast-growing grasses, carry out C4 photosynthesis. Some of our most important crops, not only maize, but also crops like sugarcane, sorghum, carry out C4 photosynthesis. They have high rates of photosynthesis and they use less water. So why haven't plants with C4 photosynthesis taken over the whole world? The answer, or a major part of the answer, is that this pump costs energy. Part of the light energy 
in these plants is used to concentrate carbon dioxide via, via this pump. And this means that C4 plants have an advantage when they're somewhere with high light and probably also high temperatures and not so much water, but when they're in wetter, colder areas, this has a disadvantage because it needs more light energy to carry out photosynthesis. Okay. Okay.